Hello, this is Gran Turismo 5 running in the emulator RPCS3 in Windows. And I'm going to show you what I found are a couple settings that help reduce the uh, uh, audio stuttering you get, particularly when gunning the engine in the game. So I'm going to run an arcade race, and I have the, the game volume turned up higher than I would normally hear, so I'm not going to be able to talk while it's going. But I'm running an arcade race with the sound on its default settings in RPS-C3, and you'll hear the stuttering that happens when I gun the engine at the start of the race. And then I'll compare that with these settings I found that seem to help a fair amount. Uh, so here goes. So that's the, well that's my bad driving, but that's the stuttering you get by default, at least that I get on my system. This is a five to six year old mid-range gaming laptop I'm running on. Um, <clears throat> so if you go into the games configuration settings under the audio tab, on the right hand side there's two buffering options. Uh, one is enable buffering, which you need in order to use the second option, which is enable time stretching. And I'm going to enable both of these. The default setting for buffering duration is 50, I think it's 50, no, it's 100 milliseconds is the default. I found that on my system, I don't get a huge difference. Uh, and you can go up to 250 milliseconds. Now there's a thousand milliseconds, if I'm remembering correctly, in a second. So that's a, that would be an audio delay of a quarter of a second, which is pretty noticeable. The default is 100 milliseconds, that's a tenth of a second. Not too noticeable in uh, a simulation racing game like Gran Turismo 5. But I actually don't notice an in-game difference a whole lot, uh, even with 10 milliseconds. If I lower it below that, the crackling does seem to ramp up more. Um, I mean, it's still better than it would be with the setting off, of course. But with 10 milliseconds, that seems to be about the sweet spot for this setting on my system. Enable time stretching just further seems to reduce the crackling. Uh, the notes below in the description box there say it can cause a very noticeable reduction in audio quality on slower CPUs. I'm not noticing uh, a reduction in audio quality, but I'm not an audiophile, so I could be missing something there. But anyway... And the default setting here is 75. Um, <clears throat> I just cranked it up to max, which seems to seem to help a bit more. So uh, anyway, so I'm going to go with those, and uh, we'll see what happens.
I'm so bad at driving. So, quite an improvement, or a reduction in the stuttering there, I think you noticed. So, um, that's basically what I got. Now, I'm going to just demonstrate the, the buffering uh, actual playback delay so that you can get a sense for what that is. So, 10 milliseconds, that's one one-hundredth of a second. It's not really a noticeable delay. Um... If you did have that at the maximum setting here, 250 milliseconds, that's a quarter of a second delay on all of the sounds playing back. Um, so, and it's not a delay in terms of your control or the video, but why, listen to what happens when I hit a wall. Listen to how long it takes for the actual impact sound to play. Actually, that didn't seem delayed at all. Hang on a second. I don't think that kicked in with my setting yet. Let me s I save custom config and I'll do it. Yeah, there was the delay. Let's do another one. Yeah, so that's quite a, that's a noticeable delay, I would say, which is why I wanted to reduce that delay as much as I could. So I'll put it back down to my 10 millisecond and apply uh, and save that. And 10 millisecond isn't super noticeable. So, still pretty instantaneous as far as the delay at 10 milliseconds goes. So, so that's pretty much the best I've been able to do to reduce the stuttering in the game. But it's mostly when, you know, engines are gunning and the emulator just sort of can struggle with that a bit and cause stuttering if you don't have these settings enabled. And you still get some but it's, it's reduced quite a bit if you use these settings. At least, again, on my setup, this probably does ver vary by uh, your system, your computer hardware. But anyway, buffering, duration, 10 milliseconds, time stretching, uh, threshold 100%. That's, that's when it kicks in to start doing it, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's what seemed to work best on my system, so maybe that'll help you. Uh, it does seem to make the game sound a lot better. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you later.